Pishan then. You finish scaling, then you can start to get up. Are you? Today, I'm going out kayak fishing together with Randy and our guide Nordin from Fish On. With me, I'll be carrying two setups and one of them is my new 4-piece travel jigging rod, the Rapala Trailblazer Kitan. But before that, I want to share with you guys what I saw at the car park. A nice big cop. Okay, jokes aside, we'll be launching out together from the beach near Pasiris Kapak E. Very good morning everyone, I'm here at Pasiris Kapak E uh, going on a kayak fishing again. If you guys know, my very first kayak fishing trip was with Fish On and I think for a few sessions I've been with him, this is my, currently my third one. And today with me, I have uh, Randy as well. We'll be trying to head to different kelongs and trying to aim for groupers, mainly snappers. We shall see how it goes. If you guys are keen on uh, trying kayak fishing, do click on the link below. I actually link Nodin's um, fishing services, kayak services, which is uh, Fish On SG. Do check out his uh, channel as well. He's on TikTok, I believe on Instagram and on Facebook as well. Check out him, the rates and uh, the location where you can try kayak fishing. Um, definitely, you will enjoy as well. Would you like introduce yourself and the company you're running to the viewers? Hi, I'm from fishon.sg. I'm doing kayak fishing and guide. Today I will actually try to bring you guys out fishing. Hopefully we can target some groupers and baramandi along Ubin. So we shall do luck. Okay, for the yellow boy and double barrel lah. Eh? Kena curi ya. Ah. Don't be alarmed if the police coast guard stops you for a routine check. Unless you're a drug cartel, there's nothing to worry about as they're just doing their job to keep our waters safe. And next, we headed off towards our next Kelong spot. Look at where I am and something go by that all right guys no they just caught his orange spotted by bouncing off uh, on the bottom nice small size yeah orange spotted catch and release all right did you know Groupers are mainly protogenous hermaphrodite, meaning a grouper will mature as a female and at some point of time, you will be able to change their sex to male in order to increase the survival rate of the population. Interesting, isn't it? I got a fight. You look. You caught it here. 
Dia sempat below dia Oh, fish on. Yep. MJ. Ooh. Yeah. This is the bugger. Ah. Right. Alright guys. Alright guys, the first fish of the day. And MJ was quite a very slow start to the morning. Got, plenty, got a couple of bites in the morning but unfortunately they were uh, like small fishes too small for the pigs so yeah first MJ my whole life so this uh, MJ was caught on my actually this is the first time using the Rapala Trailblazer Chitin it's a black edition compact jigging special rod I've always loved travel rod so to have a jigging rod in a travel rod form which is a plus point for me so this definitely has to be the rod which I'll be using for all my kayak sessions in the future so yeah let's catch more fishes guys another fun fact for you guys a mangrove jack also known as a red mangrove snapper can reach a maximum length of about 1.2 meters and 16 kilograms in weight Lagi. Guys, no <laughs> It's like 4th MJ already. Fifth. See? Fifth, guys. What is this sorcery? On the drop, he sounded. Oh, another MJ. Okay. Yep. I just threw it. Yeah. On the boat, you go. size to the previous one. So. Soon it rained heavily which left us with no choice but to seek for shelter at the nearby Kelo. We fished for a bit more and it was finally about time for us to go back. Alright guys, morning was quite tough fishing but uh, afternoon, uh, something was 12 onwards, it was like a bit more uh, productive with the MJs especially, our guide like hit 8 pieces, <laughs> like legit 8. You can't believe it. I got 2 <laughs> and I was on the, my new rod today, it was the very first day I used uh, the Trailblazer Kitan. I really love travel rod so to have a jigging rod in a travel rod form which I can use for kayak or offshore next time so it's like a perfect choice for me so yes we are heading back towards Pasir Ris Kapak E that's where we came from earlier session was successful I'm very happy so it's gonna be like cardio for me just nice in time for me to go IPPT next week so this is like legit cardio pedal all to way so yeah shall see you guys later on shore How do you actually prepare the fish? Ah? First, you want uh, scale first, don't cut first, scale first. 
Uh, once you finish scaling, then you can start to cut lah. Uh, normally, I will start from the tail, then move uh, towards the head. So then, once one side done, then then flip over the other side. Uh, for mango jack, it's relatively easy, easier because the scales are big. Okay. Uh, grouper are a bit more difficult because their scales are small and slimy. Especially hybrid. You need to use more force to uh, scale out hybrid. And then, to guard is I puncture a hole at the near the, the stomach here. Okay. Just cut through. I use a scissors that can be used to cut chicken bone. Okay, so it's very tough and sharp. Stainless steel. So just cut through like that. Open up. Okay, hold on to the gill using glove. The neck here just cut through. Hold on to the gill. Hold the head. Pull. Okay, then remove all the organs slowly in one piece. Then feed the crabs. Okay, remove this part. This is the I don't know what lah, but it's gelatin lah. And I'll slice through this portion here, the final step. This is to remove the kidney later on in the water. This, if you remove this, you will not have the bitter taste. Okay. Yeah. And before this, I bleed the fish, so it's very white and clean. So if I say you don't bleed. The skin will turn reddish, is it? You see hairline, black color thing when you cook, and they got the the fishy smell and things like that. Oh, okay. okay. So by doing this, you can steam without the excessive use of ginger or lime or what to mask the smell. Oh, okay. That's something new. Alright, that's it for today's episode guys. I hope you all enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed the sessions, especially with Wendy and with Nodin, our guide from Fish On. If you guys are interested in trying kite fishing, do give Nodin a heads up. I've linked up all his socials below in the description box. And of course, I've always recommended you guys to go on your very first kite session with a guide. Many one is because of safety and two of course with tips. It's very different out there, different than what you do on boat fishing, different than what you do on shore based fishing. So it's something new and I'm sure you guys will love it and for upcoming sessions i'm pretty sure i'll be doing a bit more kayak sessions so look out for more kayak sessions i'll be sharing with you guys in this channel looking forward to unlock the legics looking forward to unlock with groupers and sharing this journey with you guys and of course guys please stay safe stay healthy and also fish responsibly i shall see you guys in the next episode tight lines everyone today is day seven of my art test The moment of truth. What? <laughs>